So this video is going to show you how to repair the um, micro switches in the Saab remote. And we're gonna start by pushing this on the back here, pulling the key out and uh, opening up the, the box. So I basically just pushed in here. That gets this apart. And so we'll put this aside now for a moment. And now what we need to do is just get the, the circuit board out. Oh, we need to get the circuit board out by moving those clips here. There you go. So here's one clip and here's the other clip here. And that should free it up. There you go. And now this gives us access to the micro switches here. So if you recall, we re this there was one that failed here that is obviously most commonly used, you know, lock unlock the vehicle. And um, we um, repaired, you know, so we could at least open the and close the vehicle. And then what I did is I ordered the micro switches here. And one thing, if you do, if you measure the size of those switches, they are the the dimensions are six millimeters long, 3.8 millimeters wide, and then 2.5 millimeters high. So what I was able to find is a replacement switches that are basically three by six by two and a half, which is this one here. And um, so what they look like is, they don't look exactly the same, but it's, you know, so if you kind of zoom in on this, they basically look like this. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try and see if uh, those switches will, will work well for our project. So this is the switch. And basically what we're gonna do is we're going to place it right here. So, so this will be our replacement switch location. So first, obviously I gotta um, unsolder the existing switch. So we'll get this off. Yeah, so this end is off. There you go. Okay, so the switch is off. It's a little bit too much. So we got one end that is holding now. We're gonna do the other end. A little bit too close to the to the chip here. There we go. So we're gonna put in a few rounds here. So this this side, do this side again. Okay. So this is now soldered on. And if you kind of look at the height profile, so basically where the top of the button is here and here, we're roughly at the same height and then the part you want to inspect is if you want to zoom in here that this is not you know in contact anywhere where it was not before so this is the piece that i was referring to i'm kind of zoomed in now that this part of the pin is not touching the pins of the chip because the lead if you see goes back here so so now we're going to just uh, assemble it so you know the uh, micro switch is face down, push it in, clipped on both sides here, put the other part with the battery in it over it, press it together so it clips in, there you go, and then insert the key and go and test it on the vehicle. Right, so we tested this button and it worked really well. So what we're gonna do is, this one is pretty, in pretty sad state when you push it, it doesn't even click like the other ones do. 
So we'll just replace it kind of proactively, even though it still works. So we'll heat, heat this up here and here. That removes the, the old switch. I'll apply just a little bit of solder, just a little bit to the tabs. There you go. And now we're gonna bring in the, the new switch. And maybe if you help me hold the, so it doesn't move it, there you go. Better one side here. Okay, so one side soldered. We'll rotate it now. We'll do the other side. We'll put a little bit more solder onto the tip. Maybe I can see the, the, the flow already. And I'm gonna now just reheat the end so it sits, sits as close as possible to the to the circuit board. So here's one again, and this one again. There we go. Let's make sure that it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. Right, so uh, it looks like it's flat against the circuit board. Now we're gonna just, you know, assemble it. So we're putting it back in again. We got two new switches now, as you see. Gonna push this in, so it clips in. Put the battery part in. And the keys. And that completes our job. Thank you for watching.